Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, if you haven't noticed, first of all, I decided to chop all my hair off. So that's a new for the new year. But, in this video, I'm gonna show you two different looks for the new year, for New Year's Eve. One is gonna be a little bit more natural, a little bit natural, a little bit more work appropriate, or just everyday, smoky, shiny, but still really nice for the new year. And then, this look right here, which I did second, is going to be the more glam, ready for a night out on the town, shimmery, glittery look. Um, so it gives you a little bit of option, and I actually worked one right into the other. So if you wanted to start with the first look and then later in the evening, bump it up to this one, you can really easily. Um, but without further ado, if you like this look and you want to see a different look as well, just keep watching. Alright, so I've already primed my face using the Nivea Man Sensitive Post Shade Balm. I like this because it makes my makeup stay on all day, all night. Since this is a New Year's thing, I want to make sure it stays on, but it keeps my skin very hydrated. So that's why I use that one. Now, I want my face to look flawless for New Year's. So I'm gonna use my Born This Way, Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I absolutely love this foundation because it is full coverage. It makes my skin look so smooth, so perfect, but it is undetectable. So it's going to, in pictures, I mean, you're gonna take lots, lots of pictures. So in pictures, it's going to still look really, really natural. I'm gonna apply this with my beauty blender. And since we are gonna do two different looks today, I wanted to start out with the face. So it would be done. Putting a little extra on the beauty blender. For an event, especially something like New Year's, things like that, you wanna make sure that you're using something that is not gonna have any flashback in cameras. So nothing with too much SPF. Um, it tends to create a lot of flashback. So something that's either called an HD foundation or doesn't have any SPF is gonna be the best bet for you. And that's what this foundation is. Okay, now for concealer, I'm gonna use two different concealers. I'm gonna go in with my Shape Tape from Tarte, as well as my Bare Skin Concealer from Bare Minerals. I use these two together. This one's super full coverage. It's a little lighter than I need for my skin. Got the wrong color. But it does create a nice amount of lightness and brightness to under my eyes, as well as the center of my face. But I put this one in just to kind of make it a little bit thinner, a little bit easier to work with, and it darkens it just a tiny bit. So I'm gonna go in with my Shape Tape first. And just dot, 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 dot. Now I'm gonna take the bare skin concealer and blend that out. Now I don't really like to go too far underneath my eye. Um, I can tend to crease a lot there. So what I do is just put it underneath and then blend it up into that area. The whole goal for New Year's with makeup is to make it last, make it look good, but make it last. And I'm just going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. Okay, and I want to set all of that with my one true love, my Bye Bye Pores from It Cosmetics. And I'm just going to set my under eyes and the rest of my face. Alright, before I do the rest of my face, I want to go ahead and do my eyebrows and my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'm using the Brow Wiz from Anastasia. Beverly Hills, and I'm in the shade medium brown. And now I'm going to set them with my 
L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper Brow Gel Mascara. I love this one because it has little fibers in there so it gives a nice thickness to the brows, but then it has a nice tint to it so it just gives it an all over fullness and finish. So for eyes, first and foremost, I'm going to use my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This primer makes is like glue for your eyeshadow. It makes your eyeshadow stay on all night long. And I love too that it has just a little bit of a tint, so it helps conceal the lids as well. So I'm gonna go in now with my Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. I love this palette for nice smoky, silvery grays. This is just kinda what we're gonna do today. Cause it has these really nice silvers and grays and light colors and still has transition shades. I love this palette. So now on my Morphe M332 brush, just a nice crease blending brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Combust. And I'm gonna put that pretty much all over into my crease and down onto my lid. All right, now I'm gonna take my MAC 217 brush, um, which is just a little bit more of a dense blending or crease brush, and I am going to go into the shade Password just to darken up that crease and get a little bit of gray. Now I'm gonna go back to my Morphe M4, M4, M332 and just blend that into the crease and out. Just like that. I want to create a little bit of smokiness and a little bit of a shine. I love really shimmery, shiny looks for New Year's. So I want to do something that has a lot of boom, but still being natural every day. Like you can wear this to work. Like say you work on New Year's Eve, or you just want something that kind of can transition into night, or even something that you don't like to wear a lot of makeup, but you still want to feel like you're doing the New Year's Eve shiny thing. This is where that's going to come in. So I'm going to take my Morphe M208, which is a nice, really dense shadow brush and I'm going to put a little bit of Fix Plus on it. And I'm going to go into the shade Armor and put that directly onto the lid. I'm keeping it mostly towards the center but I do want to take it in and out just a little bit to give it some blend. Now I'm going to go back in to my MAC 217 brush and into that password shade and just blend that into the crease. Now I do want the inner corners to be super, 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 super bright. So I'm going to take my Morphe M222, which is a really fluffy, almost pencil brush, put a little bit of Fix Plus on it, and I'm going to go into the shade High. And this is more of a champagne shade, so it's still going to go really nicely with the silvers that we're using. And I'm going to take just a completely clean brush any shadow brush and just blend out the edges of that sh shade. Oh yeah, and it blends in really nicely to the other shade as well. This is New Year's, don't be afraid to get really bright. Now I'm going to take just a black pencil. I'm using the NYX Trezor in pitch black. And I'm going to tie line as well as do my waterline.
Alrighty. Now, I'm going to take an angled, small angled brush. I think this is the MAC. Oh, I've, oh 203 brush. And I'm going to go into the shade Black Market. And I'm going to create just a little bit of darkness right on my lash line right on my lash line. What I'm going to do is take this color and stamp it right at the lash line. And now I'm going to take this color and do it. I'm just pulling just a little bit because I'm going to create just a little bit of a fake wing. Or a wing with this. And this will just give us a nice smoky wing without being too intense. But I, just like that. Just like that. When I move, you move. <clears throat> Okay, now with a smaller pencil brush, we're going to do just a little bit of smudging and shading out in the, on the lower lash line. So I'm going to take my Morphe 431 into that black market shade that we just used. And just smudge that along the lash line just to give a little bit more of a smoky look. So now that we're done with the shadow, done with the liner, let's go ahead and finish up the face. So I'm just going to do some light contouring today. I want to get a little bit of definition because we're getting glam, but not too, too much. Oh, and I'm using my Too Faced Cocoa Contour as per usual. Give a little extra oomph on those cheekbones. And do a little bit on the jawline as well. Now I'm going to take the Real Techniques, what is this, the blush brush? Just a little bit of the bronzer that's actually in the palette. And it's a warm up the skin just a little bit. Go down the jawline, down to the neck, just a little. I want to keep the eyes the focal point of this look, so I'm going on with the Profusion Blush Boot or the yeah Blush Boutique Blush in Natural. This is just a super lightly peachy, but mostly just natural neutral blush. It's gonna give me a little bit of color, but nothing too much. Now, if I wanted to stick pretty natural and neutral on the blush, I'm going to go crazy on some highlight. I want to shine like a disco ball. And I got this beautiful creature over the holidays. This is the Manizer Sisters. It's the Luminizer Trio, like the Mary Luminizer. That's the one that we're going in today to use. Oh, she's pretty. I'm hitting all my normal highlighting spots. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Shine bright like a diamond. For mascara, I'm gonna go 
I'm gonna use my Smashbox X-rated mascara. It gives a lot of volume. So this is nice if you just want to wear mascara because you can really pack on the volume with this, or you can always add lashes as well. Okay, and uh, last but not least, I went ahead and fixed my hair a little. Last but not least, I'm gonna go in with just a very neutral lip for this one. I'm gonna use my ColourPop Lippy Stick in Aquarius and hit that all over the lip. There you go. So this one right here is going to be super easy, but still smoky. If you wanted to, you could absolutely put lashes on this to just give it some extra va va boom, add a wing liner. Make this your own, um, but this is just going to be something that you can still feel like you're getting glammed up for New Year's without going overboard. That will come next. So I'm going to start out with my glitter. I am using just some cosmetic grade bright silver glitter. I don't want to mess up what we've already done on the shadow because I want the shadow to, show, to, to still show underneath. So what I'm going to do is add just a little bit of shadow insurance. And I'm just going to press it on top of the eyeshadow. Then, I'm going to take Fix Plus onto my brush, so it'll pick up that glitter. When you pick up the glitter, seriously tap it off, and then you're just going to place it right on the lid and blend it out. I'm doing most of it right on the lid, but then once a lot of it gets off of my brush, then I'm taking it up into the crease just a little bit. And you've got yourself a glittery eyelid. And you can pack on as little or as much as you want of this. But I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. But you've got some glittery eyeballs. Now I am, I want to darken this just a little bit on the outside corner. I'm going to use the exact same color that we used before, which is the Password shade. But I'm going to mix it just a little bit with the Black Market shade. Okay, now what we're going to do is add that pop of color. I'm going to go into my Morphe 35C palette, it's just matte, bright colors, and I'm going to go into this turquoise teal shade. We're going to put that all over the little lash line. And I'm going into the black just a matte black shade in the palette just to blend that together just so I'll give it that nice definition around the eye. All right, so now I want to add a nice bold wing liner to the top and I'm going in with my Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liner.
want to go ahead and put on some lashes. So I'm going to be using my favorite lashes. These are the Kiss. I got them at Target, but they're the True Volume. They're tapered. They're natural hair. Oh, and they look so good. I already have mascara on, so I'm just going to add on the lashes really quick. Mm, like that. So now I'm going to go into the bottom. I really want to give this a very like star-like look. So I'm going to take the glitter and I'm going to bring it under the lower lash line as well. And do not use anywhere near as much as you used for the top of the eye. Start in the middle and then kind of blend it outward. Good place. I'm just going to press, press, press. Right under the lash line. You want the most glitter to be right at the lash line and then go out from there. And please make sure, make sure, make sure you don't get craft glitter or something like that. Get cosmetic glitter because it's so close around the eye that if this gets in the eye, you don't know what could happen. So just get the cosmetic glitter. Then all I'm going to do to the rest of the face is put a little gloss on the lips just to give it a little more oomph. Oh, and I am using the Makeup Forever Artist Plexi Gloss in 100P. And that's it. That completes this video. I hope you guys liked both of the different looks that we did. Um, I love the first one because it is nice just to go out, have a good time, or go to work. If you want to feel a little more festive, have a little bit of smokiness, a little bit of shimmer. But then I love this look. I love this one because it is over the top. You are a disco ball and you are ready to put on a shimmery, shiny dress and be ready for a night on the town. So I hope you enjoyed both looks. If you do either of these looks, please tag me on Instagram, Twitter, wherever you put them up so I can see how you did it. Have you changed it? If you did something similar to mine, I want to see it. Um, so tag me at Morgan Shea Price um, or use my hashtag, which is the same, um, and let me see it. Thanks guys so much for watching. Happy New Year, and I'll see you next year. Bye.